Our heroes entered the castle through the dungeons. The knight thought back to his childhood days and the excitement the dark corridors had provided back when the spiders were small and the bones were piled neatly in the corners. Ooh, this place gives me the chills. It's a dungeon. That's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> Fear not. I have my sword and my cape. <laughs> I am the king of the castle. I shall crush all my enemies and lead my army to victory. We are invincible. <laughs> and with these encouraging words, welcome back to Let's Play Trine. Well, I have to, well, say something first. Uh, there was a little mistake which happened to me. I... Well, what about if we first introduce the guest, which is our offspring program game designer? Uh, Quantum Crayons. I'm Scottish, ILP, and Kosh is a cool guy. <laughs> and I hope you're not going down on me. <laughs> what the hell? I'm sorry, it just sounded so hilarious. <laughs> down. I can't get over it. Anyways, um, back to the tech context. Um, I made a little mistake that we had to, that uh, we already recorded that whole level, he already guessed it, and well, there was this beautiful mistake I made is that I accidentally deleted the whole video. Wonderful. Plus the raw file, so I had to redo the whole level. I had to, so I had to start a new game and I had to go back to this place. So I have different skills, different items, and a little bit different experience. So everything I do in this video is pretty much. Uh, nonsensical. Ironically, today I found the old video. I hadn't deleted it. Yeah, but yours is a really crappy quality, so I can't. Be, I can't possibly upload that. Well. <laughs> yeah, I could, but still. I mean, I, I, there still has to be some sort of. I mean, the user shouldn't be punished for my stupidity. I should <laughs> be punished. And yeah, it already starts pretty well. Uh, about the level itself, it's. Not the Crypt of the Dam, at least I can say that, because I called in the last with the Crypt of the Dam, but it's the for second Dungeons, I believe. It's some kind of sewer dungeon affair. Yeah, it's the typical sewer level. Even in fantasy games, there always has to be a sewer level. Indeed. Even though it doesn't make any sense at all. And, well, we have... We got already new enemies introduced, which were those Skeleton Warriors, which just have armor, hit harder, and, well, do more ouchy. You just got to hit them more, and they fall down again. Exactly. At least the uh, the good thing is about the second run is that I was way quicker. I'm like, uh, let's see, five minutes quicker than the old version. Yeah. Because I knew exactly what to do. I even found something which I didn't even know that it was there, but we'll get to that later. I actually went and watched a wee bit of Lost Vikings. So I, I know what the Lost Vikings is like, and I see the similarities. Yeah, then again, uh, who was it? Crowley pointed out to me that there is an Amiga game, or... Or, not, I don't know, I think it was on the Amiga, which was called uh, Fury of the Furries, which... is a little bit more uh, like this, uh... It's more like this gameplay, but it's just a problem that nobody knows that game except probably him. Also, that's a beautiful glitch here. <laughs> Yay, shaking towers. Yeah. Stone. Also, I wanted to do the same tactic as last time, but you can already see that it doesn't work that well. Yeah. Here it doesn't work either. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful flame, flame headshot. Uh, the nice thing about this level is that you can abuse these checkpoints like crap. Yeah. As long as you stay there, you're pretty much safe. Who thought the spawning enemies near to a revive point was a good idea? Spike balls! Yeah. This time I know what to do, I don't have to stay like 10 seconds in front of it and figuring out what to do. Yes. It's so much easier now. Also, he, uh, in this playthrough I, I learned uh, an ability which I didn't learn in the main game, but that doesn't matter. It's uh, the Knight's Kick, which I, I think I already showed off once, but I will le learn that sooner or later in the, in the actual video footage. Alright. It's just, well, you can kick enemies. I know, it's it's amazing. And this throw skill, which is usually absolutely useless. It is actually pretty nice. Also, this this coming up is so badass. It's like, hi guys, 
Bye, guys. It's kind of like, um... What, what series, which series did that, did that do? Uh, Batman, for example, did that. I think... I don't know in which move, but I remember, like, uh, that he got attacked by Fox and just used the grappling hook to, to get away. Uh, and that was pretty much the same, I think. Just... Hmm. Less... Different. Also... <laughs> It's really hard sometimes to like uh, conjure up beams. You think it would be the easiest thing because it's just a beam, but no. I still don't understand the logic of putting deadly spikes beside fire. Flamethrowers, that's the word. Because you wouldn't go up to them anyway. Well, it's just... I have actually no clue why they put... It's just, I think it's more like the hell because you can... Uh, you saw that I blocked it with that and it's just... I think the designers just wanted to throw you a bone there. Like, come on, you can block that if you want to. Yeah. Also, I finally found the use of this weird rock. I was like, why the why the fuck is the thing up there anyways? And here I accidentally broke the wall over there, which I didn't even notice <laughs> at first. I was like, yeah, I found the secret and I can't turn the level, level for some odd reasons. But yeah, that item I find there, I won't have it in the next video because, like I said, this is not. Yeah. This is not really existing at all, basically. Not at all. Not in the slightest. <laughs> and it's an enchanted health crystal, which doesn't exist in the game. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and yeah, I think it's a, it's it's not such an important item. It doesn't. There's no need for it anyways, that's why I skipped it to begin with. How much health does a health potion usually regenerate? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just thankful that it regenerates to begin with. Oh, that heart. Yeah, there's the kick ability. It's basically just knocks the enemy back, and very effective against shielded enemies. Yep. There's not more or less to it. Also, I for hmm. I know nothing. <laughs> Fine, then nothing. Um, why don't we? I forgot to introduce are these spitting spiders, which are well, spiders which spit. What is it actually? Spider webs. Spider silk. Yeah, silk. Let's just say they spit something at me that makes me do ouch. It's not silk, is it? No, I'm talking rubbish. Yeah. Yay, my dead body triggered the switch. <laughs> <laughs> That's also a nice camera angle from the game. Yep. It kinda lo <laughs> it kinda lost itself. Uh for the sake of completion I actually go up here again to show it off. Show this place off. You're actually supposed to uh take the bottom route, but I'm too lazy and just uh cheated it like that. Yep. And yeah, those spiders are actually Kind of annoying. You can uh, block the projectiles they're shooting with the with the night shield, but you should just make sure that you can kill them with the thief before uh, before they get even close to you. Yeah, the defense is the best offense. Exactly, and the main problem is you can't kill those things with the wizard. There is no way you can do anything at all to them because they're in, they're basically in the background. But you can still hit them with the arrows and the sword. Mm. You cannot uh, hit them with uh, with the boxes. It's like it's trying to be realistic, but forgetting that you could always throw the box to the side. Yeah, I know. It's it's beautiful. And it's hateful if you try to get past a bunch of spiders if you only have the wizard left. Yep. Also, mid-boss again. We know him already. He got recycled. Yep. Just wants to be loved. But he, d there is no love for him because he has no feelings. Uh, should, should we go back to our own Rex or choke or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna think we're insensitive now. Nah, we know that moles also have feelings, just no flesh anymore. <laughs> oh boy. Oh beautiful. Half of the people will now think, what the fuck are we actually talking about? Yes. Also, I think one of the builds which I never really uh, mainly showed off of Knight is that he is the best guy to stomp, to go uh, basically Goomba stomp people. I try, I try to do it here again, but I miss. But one nice thing is, 
You just can stand on them and they can't do check shit anymore. Does that damage them or is it just... No, nah, they, they're just blocked. See, I'm just standing on this guy and he can't do check shit. <laughs> and since I walked off him, he can do check shit. Yes. Check shit is killing me. Oh dear. Yeah, you should never fuck with skeletons. Even for their solos, they can still... They can still kill you. And again, you can't do this bit. Yeah, this is such an annoying charm, it's just so hateful. But anyways... Uh, I think short cutscene. We are free! Whee! Not yet. King's Banner. The symbol looks like the artifact we're looking for. What are these artifacts anyway? Well, we never know, or maybe in the next episode of Let's Play Trine. No, we are free!